Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com and today I'm coming at you with a pro tip. In this video, I wanna show you guys the beauty of something called format and all the cool kids are using it. So let's just get started. Here's how it works. I will say something and like a quote or, or a string with the two quotation marks around it. And I will pass in dot format. And if I said five, here's what it will do. This squiggly brackets that you see, it's using that as a placeholder. And in place of that, it'll put in whatever I pass to the format method. So if I pass in five, it'll say hello world five. If I pass in 10, it'll pass in 10. So a cool example of this would be if I wanted to do count from one to 10 and I wanted to say the word count and then I wanted to say one after it. So for example, I wanted something to look like this and then in the next one to look like this. Well, oh, whoops, I'm sorry, to look like this, okay? So I can do that very easily. I can write a for loop uh, that starts from one and let's say it goes all the way up to 11 it goes up to but not including 11. However, it does start from one, which means it'll print one and it will go up to 10, but not to 11. All right, let's hit this guy here and I will say print I, or I'm sorry, print count, because that's something I want to show. And I want to put that right there, the squiggly brackets, and I can say dot format. Hmm, and in front of that, I can put I, because that's our variable we're incrementing by. And I'm gonna hit enter a few times and you can see, count one, count two, count three, count four, count five, all the up to 10. How beautiful does that look? Pretty damn beautiful. How can you use it? Well, if you're making a game like Battleships or something else, you can use this to format your code instead of those percent sign placeholders or instead of doing something like hello world plus one. And then you realize it gives you an error because you can't combine a number with the string, so you gotta pass str around it, which is, again, something that's ugly. Then you're like, oh, it's still not formatted correctly, so you gotta put this space after it, and it's, it's a whole mess. Instead, use the format way. Look at how gorgeous that is, first of all. Look at that. And it just works, right? I don't know where I got those syntax error from, but it works. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.